It's Monday, February 10th, 2014. I'm Sam Sheffer, and I finally convinced everyone at the office to partake in formal Mondays. <sighs> this is 90 seconds on the verge. Flappy Bird shall flap no more. The game's developer followed through on his promise this weekend and has taken down the mobile game from the iTunes App Store and Google Play. Citing no specific reason but ruling out legal problems or acquisitions, he tweeted on Saturday that he couldn't take it anymore and would be taking down the game the next day. Missed out on your chance to flap? You could purchase one of the dozens of phones with the game installed. They're selling on eBay for thousands of dollars. Nokia's Android phone may actually be released. The Wall Street Journal reports that the company will unveil its phone, codenamed Normandy, at a press event at Mobile World Congress later this month. The device is expected to be named Nokia X once it starts shipping and will run a forked version of Android without access to the Google Play Store. What remains to be seen is exactly how this will fit in after the Microsoft acquisition. Nokia is expected to integrate Microsoft services in some way. And finally, James Franco has made both good and bad films, but his next one is definitely going to be bad. And that's what may make it so good. Franco's company, Rabbit Bandini Productions, has optioned the rights to the book, The Disaster Artist, which recounts the making of the 2003 cult film, The Room. The actor plans to direct and co-produce an adaptation of the book, along with Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Franco himself will star in the film alongside his brother, Dave. And that's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, I start the disrobing process that leads to a very casual Friday.